I'm gonna keep everything here. I don't have a dragon other than the dragon whelp, so I'm basically keeping the whelp as my dragon that to buff the technician. We'll see. But if I get another dragon, I'll probably put a whelp over the Northshire cleric. I like keeping Villain's Chosen because with the coin, I can co coin Villain's Chosen against Darnass's Aspirant. So it's actually a really good, ridiculously good hand. So my Dragon Priest is very tempo oriented. Uh, it, a lot of games, you, like you don't blow someone out. It, it becomes really grindy. That's why I have Chromagus because these matchups against Paladin with this kind of deck, a lot of times like you're going to turn eight in both sides, like in top deck mode. It's really nice to have just a Chromagus for that. Uh, that's good for me. If he's playing Knife Juggler, it's, he's aggro. Aggro Druid gets stomped on by this deck, I think. Because it means that he's also running like Leper Gnomes and stuff, so... Yeah, this is not going to go too well for him. I'm prioritizing tempo on board over heal or over the card draw of healing because I could have got this up to the same thing if I didn't shrink it would be a three four except I basically don't get to develop my shrink on board so there's no ordering here that would benefit me. Either way, he knows I have another dragon when I play both, so... Where shall I so, it comes down to do I want to trade both 2-3s for it. It's pretty close. I think the answer is a slight no. I need to save Light Bomb. Well, uh, not really, actually. Hmm. It's just weak. Light Bomb's not even good here. That's the main reason why. Yeah, so, like, a lot of these games come down to really grindy. Like, you're both running out of cards, really bloody. That's kind of why I have Chromagus here as well as Ysera, because they lock down the games in these type of situations. I might convince myself to Light Bomb here. Yeah, so this is a good light bomb. I'm gonna set up for the heal next turn on the cleric. Because turn 9 I have Ysera, right? So turn 8 I can drop a cleric and then do nothing. I might as well... Like a 1-2 and 1-3 is pretty much the same. If he has a keeper or like a removal, it doesn't really change anything. I guess I'll take one more face damage or something. But otherwise, like I don't think it's relevant for the most part. More so than f like forcing him to do this. <clears throat> Did I? So both savagers are gone for him. <laughs> Is Chillmall better than death here? Like, I don't think so, but it would kill a boom. That's not that much of that tempo. That's like a crazy tempo move for value. Like, I'm getting technically, I might be gaining some tempo, but I'm losing a lot of value. And it's coming down to value a little bit more. Also, I get punished by Keeper.
Definitely not Holy Noving. Chill Mullen deserves both better. Maybe I should have just dropped Ysera when, when it was a free turn, but that's my last dragon. Yeah, the more I look at this, Ysera seems better. Wow, he's actually yellowing it because <laughs> I wouldn't have a dragon. I don't know, I guess I guess I just thought if I went Yuseri he just starts racing for face. And then I play Chillmall, it doesn't clear, and his shade doesn't die to Holy Nova at that point. So maybe it does make sense. He's so all in against me running this deck. A lot of times this deck doesn't even run ancient lore. damage here plus uh, seven I have exact lethal but not through his hero power I must safeguard guess that's the scarier card I don't have to worry about combo, he's already used both Savage Wars, so... I can see. <laughs> Chromagus. I think Chromagus might be the bigger threat, but another reason is because I... By silencing Chromagus, it's about the timing of the draw. Chromagus gives me two cards immediately next turn, Whereas you see, I drew at the end of the turn, so you, like you would silence the one next turn, but at that point, I don't get to play it, kind of. It's very close. What what's stronger, anyways? I don't like double shrinkable about that question. I've played with it before. It's too many situational cards. I'd rather be able to fit in like a random light bomb or something. I just wanted to hopefully get a dragon before using those. Slightly more damage as well. Not really. I mean, I get the two immediate damage, but I guess Blackwing Technician would have kicked in. It's just the chance to draw a dragon. I don't want to double Valence Chosen. That's too risky at that point. To big game hunter or to like an owl with with two and one i'm going for it i don't like killing it it's hard to deal with the other demon plus it's giving me four spell power and he can't suicide void caller because of this taunt so even if he does giants i might be able to pull something out with some Gigantic Holy Nova. Not, I mean, it's, this is a bad matchup. I have to take some risks. Plus, I don't even have the Vulgen. Most of the time that you do in this matchup, it's off the back of Vulgen. Oh, maybe no Moltens. Is he dead? Uh, very likely gonna Holy Nova. So I hit this, right? That Holy Nova's for four. He does die unless he gets a Melganus. So the only thing I have to think about is against Melganus what to do. 
against Malganus, it's better for me to attack first. Attack here. Definitely attack here. Then attack here, and then AoE kill Malganus with the Blackwing Technician. So I have six super good draws, and I can skip the technician turn anyways with the coin. Basically, the six cards I'm looking for are uh, Whelp, Cleric, and Wormrest Agent. I'm going to save my coin. I don't need a coin with the Powered Shield. There's pretty much no way for him to kill my guy. That doesn't involve like an owl, so... How do I want to do this? I feel like I don't need to play this Guardian any very fast. What I need to do is just get value for my hero power this game early on, so I can just play this guy and then power shield and hero power. But that should be a lot of value. And hopefully that'll help me fight through this board. Something big is to just get off the divine shield. Might be Blessing of Kings coming out. I have to attack even into Avenge. Okay, so let's think about re re Avenge and Redemption. Uh, Avenge here goes. Basically, I'm taking damage. Yeah, let's just do this. It's not that much different. Avenge is still the scarier one, anyways. Basically, it's a 2 1 7 1 1 Divine Shield, because they I get to heal back the damage, so. This is important for me to have this taunt here. It's hard for me to remove these these minions. Early on I wanted to just start trading. But now it's starting to take away too long with the cog hammer and stuff. So now it's important for me to play the Twilight Guardian. Still looks good for me. I have Holy Nova and a Corruptor here. Two Holy Novas. I feel like I don't use a Holy Nova here. Yeah, it's not that good. I'm gonna just play this. I'm attacking here first. In case this taunt is scarier than this taunt, like, I don't know, like a Noitron or Goldshar Footman or something. Okay, He's, now I got the Consecrate. I'm gonna base this on what happens. I might death here if it, and I might light bomb. That's competitive spirit, right? Uh, okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna light bomb. Oh, it's not competitive spirit, it's repentance. Repentance.
Uh, Seer Keeper got buffed out of range. It's really important because if he just goes face, then I can AoE with the board. So effectively, all my minions have taunt right now. This is still much better than Holy Nova. So ridiculously good Cabal Shadow Priest still. So yeah, he pretty much has to trade. Um, we can get a read of what the secret is. He doesn't have that many left. Oh well, I, I don't really know. Maybe, maybe uh, Avenger competitive spirit, right? Who am I? None of your business. Reporting for duty. Weapon ready. Oops, I messed up. Should play villains chosen. Instead of the hero power. Reporting for duty. Fifteen. Well played. Six and seventeen. Eighteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Eighteen. I'm one off These last couple, like two or three turns, it does, it doesn't really matter. Even if I do a slight misplay here, at this point, it's I'm too far ahead to lose this game. So, I thought Dragon Priest would actually be good right now, based on the decks I'm fighting against. Although there have been a couple handlocks today. It's really good against uh, Aggro Druid, Secret Paladin, and Tempo Mage. It's actually pretty good against any kind of Druid, even if it's Combo or Ramp Druid. Because you do have the Vulgin Deaths to deal with the bigger Druids as well. What am I looking for? Either early curve into Veln's Chosen or starting just start your curve at three or four. Starting your curve at three or four is not as good, but it's okay. Greetings. Cause technician and cultist can kill clerics and stuff. Greetings. I kept dragon uh, my Ysera just because it's I don't have that many dragons in my deck, it's kind of important for me to be able to activate the dragon here. Okay, <laughs> breathe a sigh of relief. As good as that is, I guess that's really good still. At least it's not a villain's chosen. It's actually not a good attack here. So this make trade kind of makes sense, but it doesn't really make that much sense. My guy kills this guy in one shot anyways, so like, ha having a 2-1 here is, isn't, isn't really any different. Ooh, that's good. We can get this to 5 attack. Oh! 5 attack. There we go. <clears throat> Nice to shower death. I am trying to get value in this matchup. This is a value matchup. So I, I can save Corruptor for a better target, especially when I can remove it and heal. So this sets up for a better hand. 
arguably a better board with the cultists here instead of a corruptor. Probably a slightly weaker board, but. Hopefully it doesn't have a second circle with Akanai. I don't think I'm playing around it when he's already used one circle. It's a lot of thought steals. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> My fate is sealed. The spirits be restless. What, what, what am I doing? Oh my god, I'm done. I played too long. I'm confused. I'm confusing myself. Uh oh. <laughs> I, I don't know. No comment on this. Just act like it never happened. This never happened. <laughs> Oh my god. Never happened, guys. My fate is sealed. My fate is sealed. I have six three drops. I should mulligan all of my three drops if I don't have an earlier curve. He has so much mana. He got a wall growth off and he has a coin still, so. I must safeguard he chose the keeper. I'm gonna just cycle these. I had a Velen's Chosen plus heal move, but this gives me two more life from the Drake and it cycles anyway, so... <laughs> My guy's so buff, doesn't die to Light Bomb. It's uh, kind of like Yasera with spell power. It's basically a Maligos is what it is. It's a mini Maligos. <laughs> I can Vulgin here, but I will still have to trade in. Um, if I heal my Twilight Guardian, it won't die. I don't think it's worth very much though to heal it. 
It might be better to play the Wormrest Agent. I have so much power in my hand, I don't need to worry about value. I need to worry about tempo, and it's better to have a 2-4 taunt than a 4-2. When there's already two boom bots. Lines up very good against the boom bots. I have so much stuff to do, so... So you stay ahead, not get too low in life. I have some swing cards. If I can get Shrink Cabal, uh, Sarah when I'm ahead, should win me the game. But he has a lot of cards as well, so... If he can get me even slightly low or get a slight board lead, he can just kill me. I think his hand definitely is very spell heavy. Wow, I can actually lose my whole board to a swipe and boom bot. Because I never really had minions that were good to use spells on most of the game. Okay, so I probably feel like I played Drake here.